Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We had a couple requests for content on EAFC 24, and EA actually listened. Yeah, they did. But also at the same time, they frauded with one of our SBCs we've been seeing a lot recently with new requirements and a price that is honestly making me think it is some sort of mistake because it doesn't make sense at all. I want to talk about content yesterday, but also how the market is moving. You see, I have not a lot of coins right now. That's because we are invested in these Path to Glory cards and the prices are going up. Can you still buy? We're going to watch these prices even closer today on Tuesday as those big SBCs that are maybe going to impact those prices have not dropped just yet. So we'll talk about that in today's video. And I want to actually add a couple thoughts at the end of the video of what might be the next promo. Will it be Path to Glory Team 2? I think that's unlikely. Maybe a different promo is coming next. So we'll talk about that. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content because there was one SBC yesterday that we were very happy to see, and it's not this one. It is not the Darwin Machis SBC. This was on the list of players that has been leaked as a PTG card that was going to come as an SBC, and he did drop 4-5, power shot, whipped pass, and rapid plus. I look at this card, and I think... I'm glad that I did Barcola, and I'm glad that the Barcola SBC uh, was released because he is definitely better than this one. I guess if you're rooting for Venezuela in Copa America, this is the only live card that they now have, and it may be one just to stock in your club. He's got every passing play style except for Tiki Taka, which is nice. Power shot, you know, rapid. Sure, it's a could it could be a good card if they have a surprise kind of showing in Copa America. So. That one is there, but it's uh, at least it's cheap. It's only 55,000 coins. Not that crazy of a card, though. I think most people are passing on that one. Now, let's talk about upgrade packs because that's where the other content was yesterday. Guys, EA did listen. They listened, man. They re-released the daily bronze, silver, and gold packs. And it's these daily gold packs specifically that are helping with the grind on this game right now. It is actually a huge Help. I saw so many of you guys in the comment section down below saying, Nate, I need these back. I need these back. And I'm so glad that they re-released these. They also put out the premium silver bronze. Um, and what's the other one? I think it was a premium silver and bronze packs. Yeah, those were re-released as well. So if you need some more places to put in some of those bronze and silvers, you can get five common golds from the premium silver and bronze. I haven't done very many of these at all, but they are unlimited, repeatable, and out for a long time. It is the daily ones that are actually better, at least in my opinion. Uh, but those are all there now. And man, that is so nice, especially with... The 82 plus player pick coming back. And guys, we love this, right? This is a in, like incredible time, an immense time for this player pick to be out on this game with the cards that we have in packs, the chances of you hitting some of those promo cards. I'm not going to say it's better, but with more cards being out, the fact that they're live cards, the grind and the craft and the menus is back on with the daily gold upgrades. With the 82 plus player picks, the exchanges, of course, that are always there. One thing I will mention is that I think I'm doing a lot more of the 83 plus team of the week player picks now than I used to be. I used to put like 82s and 83s even in these player picks, but I'm finding myself with a lack of team of the seasons in the club now and team of the weeks just because we've had a lot of SBCs requiring those recently. I'm doing with the 82s, 3s, and 4s and the one-off 85 that you need I'm getting all that from the 82 plus player pick really easily. There's no other like lower rated squads that I'm doing too much of during the of the day and, and the crafting. So I'm hitting these 83 plus team of the week player picks, which I think it's a very, very smart thing to do because number one, you could get a team of the week that could be going extinct or really, really meta, of course, for an evolution because a lot of team of the weeks recently have been crazy in evos. But then of course, you're getting yourself a great card for which you can then go and put into either an SBC, like an upgrade pack, like the 85 times five because I find myself not wanting to put any more of the tots cards I have in my club into an 85 times five especially for a tots card right if you're put, putting in like a 90 or 91 rated tots like it feels like a little bit of overkill for a daily upgrade SBC like this so make sure especially with this better craft now out with the 82 plus pick be hitting a couple of those 83 plus team of the weeks per day just to get yourself some informs to do that or what other other SBCs you're doing. I think that's a better craft, especially with team of the season cards in the market 
going up a lot. We'll talk about that a little bit more today. Here's a pro tip, by the way, for the 82 plus picks. I know that it's two rares and uh, the rest commons. Guys, turn in rare golds, honestly. Like, at, at what other SBC are you going to be turning in rare gold cards for? The 78 plus times three major nations? Like, Nah, I'm literally just going through my club and turning in non-rares when I have them. But if I run out of non-rares, I'm just putting rares into these because why not? Like, you might as well. Because especially if it's an 80-rated rare, wow, Furlan Mendy, that's a rare card to pack. I'll take the 84 Jesus. But, you know, turn in any rare gold that is like 82 and below in these player picks, in my opinion. Maybe save a couple of your 82s for like stuff like this and other SBCs. But that's fair game, in my opinion, for the stage of the game that we're at and the cards that are impacts that we're chasing. And the menu grind that is out because again the 78 plus best of nations upgrade which does require more rares is not worthy of your rares so that's the 82 plus pick and it is awesome that it is back especially with the cards and packs and everything that we're grinding for right now now there's one other sbc that we need to touch on and i didn't even favorite it as to put it into the daily rotation because it is, it is now worthy of that favoritism it is the 84 plus player pick and this is where ea frauded yesterday guys because we've seen the 84 plus player pick before right well first of all let's look at this one this 84 plus player pick is astronomically priced at an 83 and an 84 rated squad you're like wait a second isn't that more expensive than the 85 plus player pick that was out last week yeah it is which makes absolutely no sense it's 24,000 coins to do 6% upvoted, 94% downvoted. Oh yeah, the 84 plus player pick that came out in the past couple times during team of the season required two squads of non-rare golds. It was 9,000 coins. So literally they added a slot. If you notice, these are one of three 83 plus or 84 plus team of the week player picks, not even team of the week. I'm all over the place here. A one of three gold player pick that came out during TOTS, a one of four for this one. So what's the increase of, what is that, like 20,000 coins almost in price, like 15,000 coins more. It does not make any sense that this SBC is the price that it is. It almost feels like a mistake. Guys, honestly, with the price of this, I feel like EA was meaning for this to be an 86 plus player pick because an 84 rated squad for an 85 plus pick, you throw in the 83 rated squad, sure, maybe that's actually what they were trying to do, but instead it's an 84 plus. Honestly, probably not though, because it's a one of four. I don't think this is worth doing at all. Like, at all, guys. Even if you're crafting through the menus a bunch and you're like unlimited 82 plus player picks, maybe in that sense, it's worth the send just because you're basically doing it for free anyway with all the exchanges and stuff. You can go ahead and do it, but it does not seem worth to try and go and craft these. The one of like the four choices instead of the three is not going to change it a lot. So, that is a huge, huge fraudulent move from EA. Like that one's literally just a head scratcher because it's like, why is that even being released at the price that it is? So that was content in a nutshell yesterday. It was a pretty quiet day. And because of that, and also because of them not releasing any packs in the store, like the 650K pack, which we were talking about in yesterday's video, wondering if it was going to refresh for people to be able to open it again, or if EA was going to release the 525K pack, it did not refresh. No other packs came out. There were no lightning rounds released yesterday. So the path to glory cards went up even further on the market guys and to take a look at some of these prices i mean it's crazy even to go to my transfer targets and look at the prices that we were seeing for these cards yesterday compared to where they are right now it is nuts bruno gamerish was 525,000 coins he's like almost 600,000 coins now right alvarez was 400 yesterday he's now like 460 i mean just looking at some of the graphs it was obvious to see yesterday that the content dropped time. People saw that the content was mid, and they just went out and bought cards. Like, Saka was 1.7, went to 2.2, down to 1.9, and then bang, back up to 2 mil. He actually did drop a little bit more, but now he's back up to 2 million coins. A lot of these cards are up. Now, they're not up so much that you maybe can't buy them, but I think if you're going to buy them, we got to wait until today. We have to wait until some other sort of catalyst makes the prices drop in my opinion, um, especially on the, the top tier ones. Like you're watching the center midfielders and the center backs for those big SBCs that are still kind of um, out there looming that could be big pieces of content that could impact some of these prices. So yeah, yesterday these cards went up a lot. The Shaliba, uh, of course, that I had, 
He's doing bits like I picked him up here yesterday and now he's 1.8 mil, 1.7 million coins. Again, it's all about going for the, the teams, the countries that have the biggest chance of upgrading. Now, it's not like all these cards, by the way, are not good to invest in anymore. There's still some that look investable. I just bought a Sabitzer for 274,000 coins because he was 300k yesterday. I'm like, hold on a second. He can easily go back to 300,000 coins. So I'm going to pick this one up at 270. Hope that it rises back. Kavicha is still a little bit low. Copa America cards. You know, Eder Militao is back down to 3 mil flat. That's something to watch for. Davies is 1.4. You know, even for some of the icons and the heroes, Dina Talley's back down. He was like 1.6 almost yesterday. Um, Captavia, you can still get in the 600k low range. Haji and Vintage were both semi-low yesterday as well. It's not over. If you're trying to invest in these cards, there should be another opportunity. I think today is going to be your last chance, whether it's today around content or today later as Foot Champs rewards get given out late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, I think that'll be kind of our last opportunity to look into these cards. Uh, but the rest, like you can tell with my coins, oh, I'm holding. Like I'm not feeling any fear or panic in the market right now. I'm listing most of these for lazies. I could make almost, uh, you know, like 80K on this Alvarez right now, but I'm still holding for the fact that we could get an Enzo SBC and the fact that he is Argentine. And uh, these cards seem to be really rare too. Like the amounts that some of them are spiking at random times. Like Lukaku went from 550K yesterday. He was all the way at like 690. They have crazy, crazy rare spikes. So I think for right now, we're still holding on to these cards, waiting for them to rise up into the weekend. But there is one other thing that I want to mention because we haven't seen any content around this and we maybe will today. It's just a guess, but this could actually impact some of the prices of the PTG cards. It's another variable that I didn't mention yesterday in the video when we were really talking about the investments. The global loans, guys. This is the only global loan player that I have. It's because EA's only dropped one pack with a global loan in it, right? The guaranteed pack on Friday. If they drop another one of these global loan packs, I actually think it might hurt some of the cards in the market because people would be able to basically get a guaranteed promo card pack from the current promo and if they already own that card tradable in their club, or if it was one that they wanted to try out, that is basically going to create a situation on the market where there will be less demand for that player. A card like this Gavardiol, who I packed, maybe some of the mid-tier cards like Skriniar, Undav, who I've even invested in, and especially like the lower tier, like I mentioned, the cards are going to get packed more often than not from that. You know, maybe, you know, some of the fodder cards here, maybe Almiron, maybe Tyler Adams drops a little bit, maybe some of the new players like, um, let's see, Danny Omo, Fuel Crook, Vlahovic, they could actually dip a little bit if, and this is a big if, because it hasn't happened yet, there's no other packs added to the code besides the one we had on Friday. If they release another pack via SBC or just a free one or objective or what, however they release it, a global loan player pack, I actually think that could make some of the PTG cards drop just a little bit. Again, it wouldn't be a mad drop, but I think it would be the middle to lower tier of the PTG cards that could be impacted a little bit by it just because it's kind of like you own the card, even though it's a loan, like I'm using Gavardiol on my team. It's like, I don't need to go buy that Gavardiol because I have him as a loan for unlimited matches. I think that could actually impact the market a little bit. Now, let's talk about, again, what more of could impact the market today on Tuesday. It's those SBCs, guys, right? It is the SBCs still. We mention these every single day. The Araujo and the Enzo Fernandez. There is so much hype building up for these two players for them to get SBCs just because of the players that they are and the countries that they represent for the potential upgrades. Um, if, By the way, if either of these or maybe even one of them does not come out as an SBC, there's going to be riots in the community and these leakers are going to be down bad because there is so much hype building up to these cards right here. So I think we got to get one of them today, right? We have to. I mean, after yesterday, uh, there's still a couple other SBCs like maybe uh, Lamer from Bayern and Pickford could also be coming as Path to Glory cards, but I think we get one today, maybe two, and if I had to guess, I'm going to guess Enzo. I don't know. I'm just going to guess Enzo today on a, for a Tuesday content SBC. I have no leaks. I'm just taking a guess, but we need one of these, man, and today would be the perfect day for this to drop, EA to refresh the store packs, for us to get a little bit of a dip on the Path to Glory cards. It just makes sense that they might try to do that since it's almost rewards day as well. 
So I think today might be kind of our last chance buying opportunity for the Path to Glory cards. And from here on out, it should be most of the prices rising up from here on out. So that's kind of my thought there and how the market could be impacted today with the, that SBC content. So we're going to watch it very closely for the leaks today because there will be leaks pre-content for sure about that. Now, Tuesdays have been Gamble Tuesdays, right? You might remember me saying that like every single week for the past, I don't know, six or seven weeks during team of the season because we have had Gamble Tuesdays for a long time, especially with these TOTS player picks. This one goes away today. And since we're not in team of the season anymore, what is EA going to do? I have a hunch. It's either they're going to re-release a player pick just like this to give us a chance of packing a middle to high tier team in season player, which could be decent. But what I think they really need to do is bring a tradable team of the season pack, a TOTS guaranteed, make it 90 plus, sure, just a TOTS pick or pack. It could be a player pick too. It just needs to be tradable, guys. We need now with TOTS cards. I know some of you guys that have invested in these are like, nah, Nate, stop talking about this. We don't need TOTS cards to go up in price. I believe TOTS were all 42 or 43,000 coins yesterday um, on the market. They are up a lot. They're going to keep rising if EA don't uh, supply them tradable. But I'm here for the community that is just trying to get SBCs done. And the more and more that these go up, the more annoying it is to try to get them for SBCs. Um, and the more that really EA need to supply them. It is EA's problem that Team of the Season cards are up this much. They're draining a bunch of coins from the market. It, maybe that's what they want to do, but it's making it more difficult for people to do SBCs when they're running out of TOTS cards in their club, when there's not as many TOTS guaranteed packs out, which I mean, still speaking as somebody who played the game a lot during a team of the season, I have a lot of TOTS cards, but you have to think that not everybody does. And uh, that's why these cards are going up as much as they are on the market. So EA, drop a tradable TOTS pack, maybe drop a 91 plus pick and a tradable pack at the same time. And that would be nice for some supply just to make SBCs a little bit cheaper and easier to complete for a lot of us on this game, just from an ease of use sort of aspect. And then, yeah, I mean, we would like another upgrade pack SBC today too. Something fun to just send and just a little bit of a try. If it's the 91 plus pick, sure. Uh, maybe there's, again, like we mentioned, that global loan, you know, I could see them dropping that. It's, it's kind of like a guaranteed SBC from the current promo team. I mean, maybe that'd be on Wednesday though, because that's when they did it during uh, regular weeks of team of the season. So we'll just have to see. Some other sort of gamble pack is definitely coming today because it's gamble Tuesdays. Now, again, we mentioned the SBC player. The last thing that I want to mention, whether we get an Enzo or whether we get an Araujo today, this is back to related to the PTG cards. Let's say we get Enzo Fernandez today, right? And either DePaul or uh, like Pedri, center mids are dropping. You're going to want to watch the prices drop on these cards and take action quickly. You're going to have to take action quickly, guys, because people are waiting for this moment for these cards to drop so that they can get involved and buy. I think if you wait too long, honestly, you're going to want to watch around content within an hour or maybe two maximum. I think you're going to start to see the prices bottom out and start to go back up. It might even be quicker than that. It might be in the first hour after content. You're really going to have to watch the price drops. It'll all depend on how good the SBCs are, of course. But I just think there's so many people ready to buy that if we do get one of those good SBCs, you're going to see a dip and then a boom. It's going to go up with the rest of the market because finally the, those kind of things that people were waiting for to drop for them to buy will have finally dropped. So that's one thing I did want to mention there. Last thing is evolutions. I mean, hey, I'm still down for a midfielder and for a defender versions of these uh, Euro Academy and Copa Academy cards. I know that the attacker ones weren't that great, um, you know, but there are some decent ones. Midfielders and defenders, like add the pack to the code EA Sports. We are ready. There is nothing added to the code as of me making this video right now. Um, but hey, it's definitely possible that that could still happen or maybe just some other sort of Evo. Sure, we had the Supreme Defender recently and a lot of people are excited about that. But, you know, something else related to the uh, Academy cards would be mint so that's kind of what i'm expecting for content today i'm not expecting too much we still need xp but that might not be coming until wednesday or until thursday we'll have to see the last thing i want to talk about in today's video and close it out no it's a bit of a shorter one but it was a quiet day yesterday is what promo is coming next guys nothing in the menus right now says 
team one of path to glory, right? It all says path to glory. Nothing about the icon says uh, something about a team one. Usually when it's a two plus week promo, it says that team one, right? That's like, oh, there's going to be a team two. There's nothing about that right now. I honestly think that EA want all the live cards to be out of packs by the time that the Euro games start this Friday. And I think we're going to move on to something different. It's still going to be Euros related. We just don't know what it is. So before we get any of the leaks this week, I know nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to take a stab at what I think might be the next Euros promo. And they're really the only guess that I have. It's either going to be UEFA Euro International Stars. This could be something where it's like players who have starred for their um, nation in the past something like that that also could be like towards this year tournament like you know we have team of the tournament cards but international stars could also be players who played well in this tournament right i feel like it's either going to be this promo where it's like okay people have starred in the past or it's going to be uefa make your mark or make your mark plus i think it's between these two car designs as to what promo we get this friday and it's tuesday today so you know we're only three days away we might have a few leaks in coming. It's not like EA dropped an SBC this week like they did last week called the Path to Glory Countdown, right? Remember that one? So we're like, oh, well, guess what's coming? Path to Glory, right? We don't have anything like that. So we'll see if they hint at anything, if there's any leaks or anything like that. But that's just my guess. I don't think we're getting any more um, PTG cards, which again, I think aids in the investment of these cards. And I've sent almost... I don't even know what the percentage would be, but I have like 7 million coins and I've sent all but 1.2 million of it into these cards. I just really am full sending because there's so much hype for the Euros. My game just crashed and uh, yeah, that's great. Can't literally do anything right now in the game. That's fab-tastic, fantastic, fab-tastic. We're making them do words around here, guys. But that is going to be the video for me today, guys. Hopefully we get a big SBC to shake things up, to shift things up on this game today on fc24 and good luck grinding player picks good luck finishing your champs yesterday gameplay was pathetic it was so mid it was just really really mid man so it's sweaty out there good luck with your reds good luck with your chance games maybe get ahead on rivals get ahead on the cup whatever you're grinding best of luck if you're venturing into the gameplay waters of this game and i will see you guys on stream today if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the video tomorrow it's been nathan for the count see you there peace